Hi everyone, welcome back to another different series video from Shomu's Biology. And in this video, we are going to talk about the difference between serum and plasma. What's the difference between serum and plasma? Let's talk about that. So the first thing is regarding the component of serum and plasma. What is serum and what is plasma? We need to understand that. The serum is a liquid part of the blood after the coagulation. So coagulation is done. Coagulation factors are used. So now we left off without any coagulation factor, the liquid content that is the serum which is of 90% of liquid water content. Plasma on the other hand is a clear yellowish fluid fluid part of the blood because the blood must have a fluid part which will hold the blood cells and all the proteins and everything. So that liquid fluid part of the plasma with the coagulation factors are plasma but serum without the coagulation factor. The second important parameter is presence of clotting factor and fibrinogen. Yes, in case of serum the clotting factors are missing, the fibrinogen is missing while in plasma clotting factors are there, fibrinogen is present. The third important difference is the volume. The serum volume is very less while the plasma volume in the blood is huge. 55% of the blood is ultimately of a plasma volume. Use of anticoagulants. When we want to store serum or plasma, do we need any anticoagulant? In case of serum, we don't need them because the serum does not have any coagulant factor. So we don't need anticoagulant. When in plasma, to store plasma, we need anticoagulant. Composition of serum. Serum contains electrolytes, antibodies, antigens and hormones but lacks the blood cells. Well, plasma can hold blood cells like red blood cell, RBC, white blood cell, WBC and there will be protein, antibody and all these things. Then isolation procedure for serum is difficult and more time consuming but isolation process for plasma is much easier. What are the uses of serum is important source of as I mentioned electrolyte, sodium, potassium and all these things. It is used for diagnostic tests uh, for finding out HCG hormone, cholesterol, protein, sugar in the blood. While plasma contains protein that help in the transportation of glucose and other dissolved nutrient through the blood. So that concludes our understanding of the difference between serum and plasma. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.